Welcome back to the Stan Watson Show. I'm your co-host, Samantha Cardwell. And of course, I've got my host over there, Mr. Stan <laughs> Watson. And we have a wonderful guest with us. It's Miss Lanisha McElveen. And Excellent. she's here with the Liberty uh, Education Group. Sorry about that, okay. Lanisha. But tell us a little bit more about the Liberty Education Group. What do you guys do there? You did a good job with the last name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Liberty Educational Group is actually a conglomerate of a couple different things. Um, it's an acronym, mm -hmm. and the L is for life coaching, which I do individual therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm a master's in social work. Um, I have a mentoring program called Legacy Builders, where I mentor young girls and also um, have older women or men in uh, mentor myself and friends. Um, the E is for economic development, which I do financial literacy seminars. One of my um, signature seminars is Ballin' on a Budget, um, which I've been working the local college and university circuit right now, and as well as working with high school students, teaching them skills that they can use, you know, how to cut their costs and how they, how they can get the things that they want for less. You one that, that tells the kids how to get their student loan? I do, <laughs> I do. Is that for I kids do. or adults? It's That's for really, adults, oh. really. <laughs> it's yeah. for both because parents need to know as well as students, you know, when they're taking out these loans, they get into all this debt and they go right. to college, they're getting credit cards, and mm -hmm. then they come out and they're $100,000 in debt. So I actually do have one. All this money. Absolutely. Sure. Right. Now, Absolutely. What do you do? You, are you, you challenge the kids in school to get it right or you actually talk to the parents? Is it I do both. Separate? I do both. So okay. I have a, a several different seminars okay. and what I do, um, I can tailor a specific seminar for them. Mm -hmm. um, so there may be a seminar where I specifically speak to the students and then there may be one where I speak with the parents and teach them how to clip those wings and, you know, help your child mature and not just give them something every time they call mm -hmm. home. I know some people oh, that can use it. Yeah, <laughs> clipping the wings. Clipping the wings, right? I like absolutely, the wings. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, to stir the nest. And, okay. And now these seminars are, is there a cost for the seminars or are there um, seminars that you offer for free? There are some I offer for free. I'm actually doing one um, on June 4th which is um, SMART is the new rich, and which is, that's an acronym as well. Mm -hmm. um, that will be um, one that will be in Clayton County at Brown Sugar Studios. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have a small cost. Of course, when I go into universities and schools, usually there's a contract involved sure. with that. Okay. okay, excellent. And so how long have you been doing this and how did you get started? I got started, um, I've been doing the seminar portion probably about a year. Okay. Um, my company I developed, um, I got the concept and the idea for doing financial literacy. I actually was in Cincinnati in graduate school back mm -hmm. in 2000, 2001. Mm -hmm. And it was a situation a lot like the Trayvon Martin case. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of African American men who had been killed by police officers. Mm -hmm. And what I saw was um, the city overreacted and I saw people burning down things and tearing up things and breaking things and you know my philosophy was well now you don't have a grocery store <laughs> right. now you don't have a dry cleaner right. so and so for me yeah. I thought you know the way that you fight back is economically mm -hmm. you know when they decided they were not gonna ride the bus in Montgomery they shut the bus line down mm -hmm. you fight back with your dollar mm -hmm. and so that's where I got the passion to develop my company and then ten years later <laughs> okay. I actually started working excellent, on it well, so your audience again then is that you're trying to reach out to the kids but also to the adults. Absolutely. Now, how, how, do you, how do you reach them? I reach them, I go to park and rec centers, okay. I target um, after school programs, okay. um, boys and girls clubs, you know, high schools, mm -hmm. I go in and try to talk to the principals Excellent. and get in the door, yes. I send packets to colleges and universities, so I'm, you know, I'm open. Excellent. Well, and, and the thing I like is that it's not just the power behind the dollar, but it's also educating the mind Absolutely. as to how to use the dollar. So it's a combination of education, you know, uh, and um, economic. And economic, Education right. and economic. My education philosophy just, is you should be able to have it all. Yeah. You should be able to have the home, the car, the clothes, and still have money in the bank. Mm -hmm. I call myself discount diva. Discount diva. You know, I like to shop. Mm -hmm. I like to get nice things. But I, at the same time, I'm not going to have those things and not have a retirement fund. Right, right. So, so what, if you had a tip then for a parent or for a student who's looking for a student loan, what would they look for? I know they used to have the old uh, federal insurance student loan, the Pfizer loans, and then the National Defense, and direct uh, NDC, SL, and then we got the Pell Grants. What do you, what are you telling students these days what they should be doing? I would tell the students, first of all, to start early so that you can apply for scholarships, so okay. that you don't have to get so many loans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're starting and you're in ninth grade, mm -hmm. you have four years to get things in order, so you mm -hmm. will have more than enough money. Mm -hmm. um, I also encourage, I'm, I'm the product of a private university that I love. 
Um, however, it's very expensive. Okay. It's about thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars a year now, and so mm -hmm. I've had you know family members ask, you know, should I go? Mm -hmm. Not if you have to take out thirty thousand dollars a year in student loans. Right. Not to get a degree in something where you're going to make thirty thousand dollars a that year. That is true. That doesn't very, make sense. Oh, I like you. I, I wish like that. I, I wish that had met her. I teach <laughs> me too. Realistic right. expectations right. about life. You have to have realistic <laughs> expectations about life. Don't take out a hundred thousand dollars worth of loans to work somewhere making forty thousand dollars. Right. It yeah. doesn't work. So no. then you say that that persons need to start ninth grade. Yes. looking at scholarships instead of the loan. Absolutely. And what about uh, their foundations are giving away money for um, qualified students, so to speak? There's foundations giving away money for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a, a, a limp. You know, you write with the left hand. <laughs> you can get a scholarship I, for anything. I have a limp. Can you send that <laughs> there's to no a, reason. Can you send that to my <laughs> website? I think I could get something. Yes, there's you no reason my website, right. Right. not to have money. And, right. and one of the things that I'm doing with Legacy Builders Mentoring is um, I'm starting a college tour. Oh, really? Okay. Um, because I think, you know, a lot of times students need to be exposed to different programs. Sometimes we have our mindset, we want to go a certain place, but they need to be exposed to different programs. And a lot of times when you go somewhere, you meet someone face to face, yeah, they may be willing to give yeah. you mm -hmm. that scholarship. Mm -hmm. Sure. And That's even right. career choices. Absolutely. I mean, it's still kind of early because you do, you get, That's you right. get kids who, are set you know, mm -hmm. on what they want to do. It's right. like, you don't know what right. you want to do yet. <laughs> uh, would you give them a tip then? Like, say, I know you said you went to private college, so should they be looking at private colleges, a technical college, or state, state colleges? It depends on, you know, what you want. There, mm -hmm. There's not, the, you know, necessarily one that's better than the other. I think okay. you should look at programs. Okay. What, if you Very know good. what program okay. you want to mm -hmm. go in, you should look at the school that has the better program, and then you should look at, you know, what type of funding they have. Do they have scholarships? And if mm -hmm. they don't, be like me. I didn't go on a full scholarship, but I stayed in the scholarship office every day. <laughs> and so by my sophomore mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. You know, I had someone saying, here, apply for this, apply for that, apply for this. It's, yeah, it's right. all in who you know. Oh, mm -hmm. hello. I like that. I like that. So. Now, is there a contact number and website for you? There is. Okay, my you go website, to this camera here. My website, I have two, actually. One two. is legupoonlife.com. And the other one is my name, which is lanishamackelveen.com. Oh, really? And I mm -hmm. actually blog on Lanisha McElveen and do daily money tips, McElveen money tips, oh, and my blog about, you know, how to save on travel. Should be on CNN after a while. Okay. Homes. Car I'm, I'm working on a show. Anybody? <laughs> I, I want a show. So you want a show? Get okay. out there. Okay, all right. Um, but all kinds of tips on how to save money and cut costs. Excellent, excellent. And you available during the day? I am. They can reach you by telephone? I am. Okay. 678-852-5235. Okay, Miss Malisha, is it Lanisha? Lanisha. And last name is? McElveen. McElveen. I wanted to say it right. McElveen. I told my husband it looks like McElveen, and he told me that's like saying your name looks like Lanisha. So I said, okay. Oh, okay. Well, let it go. Let it go. All right. McElveen. Well, good. We try to get it right, uh, spouse, and we'll make sure that it works. We have a few announcements. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank we'll you, hope we'll get you for by having again. me. Thank you.